Few things are better than a bowl of ice cream during the summer. And in today's Cooking with WCCO, we're making a couple of delicious toppings for an added bonus. Jill Holter from Lakewinds Food Co-op is here in the CCO kitchen. Tell us about some delicious local ice cream. And we're excited to make these toppings, Yay. too, Jill. They're easy, and there's wine. So what could, well, yeah, what could go wrong? You brought wine right in my wheelhouse, I too, did, yep. so I'm excited. Um, first, we need to talk about the ice cream. Okay. With the craft cocktail and small batch breweries and wineries in the local area, ice cream is also doing the same thing. There's some great, um, in Minneapolis and St. Paul, Sweet Science ice cream is made right here in St. Paul. It's organic, grass-fed milk. Cool. It's organic sugar and um, ingredients from local farms. And it so still tastes really, good? It's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, you get good. to taste. In fact, so why good. don't you take a spoon and try the um, berry Ooh. crumble? I mean, if I must. It's delicious. And they have yep. great design, too. It looks like they a periodic do. table of elements yep. kind of and thing. Oh, and the, wow. There's a science to getting it just right. Really Izzy's. Good. Everybody knows Izzy's. Oh, yeah. Great local company. For good reason, You can get it right? at different restaurants yep. and Izzy Scoop, and we carry it in our stores. And then Pump House Creamery is another great local. Mm. Cool. They use clean ingredients, simple ingredients, and they make it in small batches, so it's going to be wonderful. All right, let's top this ice yep. cream. Okay, so somebody has to help me make the blackberry basil red wine Kay. sauce. Normally, um, in our newsletter, we had a recipe that had um, balsamic vinegar, but we decided to elevate it for grown-up TV. <laughs> and we do have Look something, just a couple tablespoons of red wine and some okay. blackberries. Who wants to mash? Ooh, let's Jason, mash. why don't you mash? I'm going to Kylie is wearing a white dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll so this is just a over. potato masher. That's just a potato masher. Yeah, okay. you don't need fancy equipment either. Oh, I'm oh, getting away from Jason. You? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. It is a little messy. And then a little basil, a little chiffonade of basil. I just pulled this out of my garden this morning, Ooh, but delicious. we have it at the co-op, and you can find it at the farmer's market. Would and you then, mind if we go in your backyard and I wouldn't mind. No, you could probably find all sorts of things growing. <laughs> and this in particular smells yes. wonderful. This is magic shell and everybody says what the heck is in magic shell that mm -hmm. makes it magic right. and I don't know what's in the store-bought stuff but this is a very simple homemade refined coconut oil and chopped chocolate whatever chocolate really, you that's like. It? Yep and then the key to make it magic is mm -hmm. you pour it over the ice cream and I'm doing it on Pump House Creamery's um, salted caramel. We're going to okay. let it sit for 30 seconds. Excellent. It'll harden, and then you can crack it and have your That's magic so cool, shell. That's so cool because I love magic shell, and my wife does not love me <laughs> buying the magic shell. Because I'm a little unsure but, about but it. But tell us why. She's she wants like, to know what's I, in there. I right? can't imagine what is in there to make it get hard. Exactly. Wow, so. that blackberry looks so good. Yep. So now we're going to. Would you scoop a little bit onto the mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream I didn't there? Get, I didn't get much on you, did I? It looks oh, like it. Oh, she's in a white dress. So sorry. That's all right. There you go. All right. Then we can add a little extra basil on the top of the base. Basil just makes it interesting. Yeah. And you tell me what you think about that. It's four ingredients: sugar, blackberries, basil, and a little bit of red wine. Mm. And if you're doing it with the kids, you can oh, do balsamic man. vinegar. Is that good? That's so good. You like right. it? The basil uh -oh, really. The basil okay, yeah. really oh, makes yes. it. Oh, you want to oh, try wait, this? Yes, I would love you to. ready? I'm ready. Do the crack. That's okay. Great. You get the honors. Just like. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that's cool. Give it a good crack. Yep. Go crack for it, Kylie. Like there you go. There you it, it really does form a shell. That's it does. Right. Yep. Yeah. And it's two really good ingredients. Mm. Excellent. Yep. And it oh, takes this is so much fun. Oh, that tastes really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So I brought Very lots good. of extra spoons. You guys don't mind this sharing, right? Ice Not cream that's good for you with it the basil. Is. Yeah, yep. I think so. Well, yeah, yeah, if you have like basil, for right? sure you're fine. <laughs> organic berries. We've got organic wine. Organic basil. We've got it all covered, so just eat your ice cream guilt free. That is really fun. Thank you so much. And we did put the topping recipes on our website, wccocom links. Good stuff. We're going to eat all of this the rest of the day. Tomorrow on Mid Morning, how rigid thinking can hurt your relationships and our relationship reboot. So we'll be bashing men then? That's what that sounds like to me. I'm just saying.